We're back and my next guest knows her way around the kitchen. She was a recent finalist on the Fox hit Hell's Kitchen. Here now is Chef Joy Thomas to tell us all about a fabulous event that's coming up, Cooking Up Couture. Welcome, Joy. Thank you for having me. It's such an honor to be here today. It's a pleasure and we are cooking up a storm. What are we cooking? Um, this it morning good. we're doing some Creole corn grits and some spicy sausage with uh, sun-dried tomatoes on top. So it's a brunch item. And it's wonderful. We'll have brunch after. We will have brunch today. <laughs> now, you were on the show with Chef Gordon and he is very theatrical, we'll say. <laughs> um, what was it like and what's a story about that a little bit, about behind the scenes, a little story? A little behind the scenes. Um, going into Hell's Kitchen, most people were actually a little scared um, to meet Chef Ramsey and to see how he was. I was actually excited. Now, while I was there, it changed because he's, um, he's such a good chef, you know? He's a great teacher, great mentor, but to see someone with so much energy all day long, it kind of throws you for a loop. Everything he does is 100%, 200%, 300%, like full force energy, and he's just bouncing off walls and he's saying all types of crazy So he's things. like that on, on camera and off oh, camera? Oh, it's all day long. It's from the time you see him and to the time you go to bed at night. <laughs> <laughs> now, this event that's coming up, it's the 22nd. Tell us about this event, Cooking Up Couture. Yes. Yeah, so I'm going, by yeah, the I'm, way. And you'll be in your pretty dress. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> but um, actually, yeah, Cooking Up Couture is a great event that, um, we're, I'll be pairing up with Phil Abundance in the Phil Abundance Community Kitchen on uh, August the 22nd. And we'll be, what we'll be doing is it's about 10 chefs. Um, we got some master chefs, some top chefs, myself. We have uh, a chef from Chopped also that's going to be there. And we'll be giving out tastings of our food mm -hmm. to go along with the atmosphere and the fashion and the fun and the, the custom cocktails and things like that. So it's really to uh, raise awareness for Phil Abundance. So it's to benefit them, right? Benefit, right. benefit them, but also benefit the people who are in the, the community kitchen and getting this work ready um, preparation and things like that. They're learning kitchen skills, oh, sanitation great. skills. So it's, it's really helpful and resourceful for people in the community. So that it's a lot of educational aspect to it. Too. Very much. So. It, it gives a lot of people a chance to really start over all over, you know, start over again right. and just build a new life and something different. You started off watching your great grandmother in her kitchen and perhaps that was the way you formulated your love for cooking. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, yeah, my mom, that's, she's one of my biggest- by your eyes. Yeah, right? oh, that, I love her. I mean, well, I still love her. You know, she's no longer with us, but she was one of my biggest inspirations. She cooked, but she did more baking. And um, she baked, she did cookies and pies, but what she did was she took um, ingredients, like you see here, really simple ingredients, and she made them awesome. And she used to create something called a white potato pie. So ever mm -hmm. since then, I've been like obsessed with taking <laughs> ingredients yeah. and turning them into something different. So she started. So what are we doing here? What are we going to eat next? Okay. Am I ready to eat this? You are ready to eat this, but okay. you have to finish our grits first. Okay, so when do we know that they're finished? Well, they're they're pretty much done right now. They're really thick, okay. and they're not. If you so, were, I have to add a little cheese. Yeah, you right? add in a few cubes of cheese. Okay. However many you, th if you're a cheese lover, then dump it all in. If you're not, I'm using my fingers, but they're clean. So make sure your fingers are clean before I you trust do you. that. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're gonna eat afterwards, right? Joy, you have a special life mantra or whatever it is, a life recipe. We'll call it. What is it? Oh, well, my special life recipe, I mean, well, I wouldn't even call it a special res recipe or anything like that. It's just my daily prayer, which ends up being a recipe for my life. But it's um, patience, positivity, and purpose. And those are really the three things that I try to implement into my life every day, whether it's cooking or just interaction with someone. And that's something that everybody can utilize, right? It helps. So what else do we need to do to finish this incredible dish? Can okay. So yeah, we're pretty much done. So to finish the sausage um, mix, what I'm going to do is finish it with just a splash of fresh squeezed orange juice. Okay. And to finish the grits, you're going to pour in that corn right there. All right. That we scraped off the cob. All of it or just a pour little? Pour it on in. All stir right. Stir it all on in. Up. Okay. So, oh, look at this. It adds some beautiful color to it too. Mm-hmm. And it's going to add a little bit of sweetness, which is really nice. What the oh the corn adds mm -hmm. a sweetness to a this. Sweetness so this has it. sweetness and this what's this is more spicy. Mm -hmm. So it's so the perfect blend. 
And what kind of food are we cooking up at the Couture? Is it a surprise? Are we allowed to tell people? I can't speak for everyone okay. else. Okay, what are you going to be doing? But I will say that my dish will include some pork belly. I can tell you that much. A little bit of pork belly. I won't say, give away too many details because I want everybody to, you know, be anxious when they get there, excited to taste my stuff and everybody else's stuff. So I have pork. <laughs> okay, so let's let's taste this. Okay, I cool. am so hungry. I've been saving my appetite just for you. Joy. So let me slide this out your way. All right, now do I turn this off? I'm, I, I don't know my way around the kitchen. Yeah, you might want to just hit that button right there. <laughs> <laughs> that one right there. So basically, okay. get we'll a put plate. put this there. Yeah, I got the plate. And what we'll do is we'll just do we double put a little bit? with the spoon. Okay. It's okay. We'll treat it like we're at home. Uh, okay. So you want to put a little bit of grist down just for a sample. And then we can use the spatula instead because we don't want to get that all messy. You see a nice piece of meat. That's yeah, I got it. Okay, so I'm going to taste this real fast. And then there's one more thing you want. You want to garnish it actually with some charred corn. And this will give it a nice real um, fast here. Mm -hmm, okay. Smoky flavor, okay? I'll put it on there. There you go. Wonderful. All right, I'm going to taste it. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Is it good? I'm glad you like she, it. Oh, it's just delicious. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. This is wonderful. I'll see you at the couture. It was How are your life? <laughs> we'll be right back ahead. Find out what's hot for next week. Now Debbie Mancini, our dear Mama Deb, with a laser tip for you and your kids. Hey moms and dads, it's summer. Here's a quick laser tip from Mama Deb. When you're in the car, driving to softball, whatever it is that you have your captive audience in the back seat, well, use that time. It's great bonding time. And it's a good way to find out what's in your kid's head and heart if you use the tools around you. One great tool around you is billboards. You see a billboard and there's a family getting into a minivan. Quick, build a story around it. Who's the mom? Who's the dad? Who are the kids? Does mom work? Does dad work? One of them a stay-at-home parent? Where are they on their way to? Where are they on their way from? These little priceless moments are awesome ways for you to build quality time without having to spend a dime. That's right, Mama Deb's laser tip. Talk to you later with another one, bye. And here are my PowerPoints for the week. Are you obsessed with how you look and criticizing yourself for not being perfect? Or are you comparing yourself too much to other people? It can lead to what's known as body shaming, which only makes us feel worse. Or are you leaving yourself out, but doing the same to another with or without their knowing? Let's decide right now to break that hurtful chain of judging you or judging another person just by their physical features alone. It's time to lead with what's inside and what a beautiful sight it is to behold when we do just that. Are you looking for a business, life, or energy coach to end procrastination, live more successfully, and to improve your relationships, health, finances, and more? Well then, email me at joanne at docwhite.org. Step into your own personal freedom. Thanks for sharing your time with us today. Next week, she's from the Ripa Center for Women's Health and Wellness at Cooper Hospital. Dr. Laura Picciano joins us to talk about stress and how it affects your health. Find out how to beat the stress trap and find out more about sleep essentials. Remember that you have the power to power your dreams and power your life.